Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to an update episode of Smart to Jannah. As I'm sure you guys are aware this last week the riots that were taking place in America have spread throughout the world. Yeah, The UK is the second most hit country. There is a lot of debate and a lot of questions being thrown around about Black Lives Matter. This may be a lot of things this moment we're living through but it is definitely not about black lives. Some of these accusations they're pretty stupid frankly. The first one is all lives matter. This is what's been trending, this is what a lot of these racists are saying. All lives matter mate. Well obviously not. If all lives mattered we wouldn't be in the position that we're in. This is the most important thing at this this moment in time because um, you know this is something that's been happening for years and years. If you're still claiming that then why are black people being killed by the police disproportionately to white people? You know what in this scenario all lives don't matter and I'll tell you why. If you've got two people yeah that have been injured one is in critical condition, major issue the other one is, n is, is not critical and it's got minor issues. Who are you going to tend to first? Naturally whether it's the paramedic, whether it's any average sane individual they're going to go to the one that whose life is under threat. White people are not under threat compared to black people let's be frank. And the second accusation is what about the Uyghurs? What about the Palestinians? What about the Syrians? Why aren't we talking about them? Why are we only talking about this? Well first of all mate if we had this attitude whenever something went wrong let's just say there's an issue in Syria yeah and people are trying to collect money and mobilize and you've got a bunch of people saying what about what's going on in Kashmir? How comes we're not talking about that? What? Or when something's going on in Kashmir somebody says what about what's going on in China? Come on mate, what you guys need to understand is each moment or each cause has its viral moment yeah and it's at that viral moment that the voices and the injustices are being amplified to such a degree that the people that need to hear them, hear them. Things are going viral, people are taking to the streets. The cause that let's face it if you talked about a couple of months before you, nobody really would have cared or known. Now because every newspaper is talking about it, every celebrity is talking about it, now's the time to really amplify and voice your concern about this particular issue. By all means there should be other people still working on other causes, they don't pause. Yeah but you cannot take away the people from a justified cause which is reaching the spotlight that it deserves. And the next thing that's been happening in the last couple of days is that statues of previous slave owners or uh, racist individuals are being taken down. In fact in the UK you can see this statue of a slave owner that's not only been taken and pulled and dragged down, it's been rolled down the street and then chucked into the river. And in the very place that statue was there are now people speaking against racism. There are other statues that are being taken down but the question arises yeah okay people are arguing is vandalism is this or that but that's the wrong question or wrong discussion to be having. The main question is why on earth have these statues been allowed to be put amongst us in the first place? How the f can you say get over slavery but you want to keep the monuments of it? I, I, you want me to get over slavery you just want to remind me of it. That's like if I'm in a relationship with a, with a woman and I've been abusive and we say we're going to work it out but I keep all the things that remind her of how abusive I was. I keep the bandages, I keep the police report. And why is it taking these passionate protests to get us to actually think? Hang on a minute what's going on? And loads of programs are being taken uh, off air as well and offline and I love this one of the BBC. Yeah? They've taken one series of Little Britain and in there you've got white characters that dress up as black people yeah and uh, and BBC goes yeah times have changed. Hang on a minute, what do you mean times have changed? 
What's that supposed to mean? You've just been told that this program that you guys aired before was racist and now you've taken this racist program off. How come you guys didn't say this when it came to that whole pedophile Jimmy Savile thing? Oh yeah we've uh, you know had to remove his episodes because times have changed. No you guys allowed a pedophile last time. <laughs> it's the same with the racism. And the other thing is the far right were quiet when these protests started yeah. I didn't hear anybody pledge their uh, solidarity to the black cause. But as soon as the violence started and the protest started turning violent Boom! Which BLM, you've done more to break down race f***ing integration in this country than anyone's tried to do. Much more than the National Front ever done. Look what you've done. Look what you're doing. These guys came out of their holes and started condemning the violence and started blaming Antifa and all these things. And you know anything to discredit what was going on, these guys are on the forefront. And the other one was um, when this whole issue came of uh, statues being taken, these far right guys going Yeah but your prophet used to own slaves as well. First of all, what, slaves according to your definition? No the prophet didn't own slaves according to your definition. According to your definition those slaves weren't permitted in Islam. Full stop. Second thing, in order to lay a claim first understand the person who you're laying the claim against. Yeah, The prophet and any other prophet that was sent by God was there as a practical example for us. Yeah, if the prophet came and wiped out racism and uh, slavery and class system, everything in 23 years and then you know passed away, I mean what that's not a practical example for us. As human beings we can't mimic that. So the prophet came and took the practical steps. He gave everybody including slaves human rights. They had human rights. He encouraged the freeing of slaves. In fact there was a total revolution in terms of the lifestyle of the Arabs at that time. Again, I can't say this in a couple of minutes uh, video you know what I'm saying. It deserves a lecture in itself. <laughs> and also this illogical statement that when someone pins you down on something, yeah well what about him or what about her? No, the issue is with regards to the statues that are in the UK. Yeah what about the statue of a prophet that we don't have in the UK but seeing as you're a Muslim that's saying it I'm gonna say something about you so we can distract the, and move the conversation to something else so we don't have to talk about the thing that actually matters and that's us being racist. In fact it's got so deep that you've even got the chires getting involved. Chihuahua. That's right the T's are jumping in as well. Yorkshire tea, you got the PG tips yeah, you got even Sainsbury's jumping in as well. Of course, you got the celebrities as well, um, and I'm glad they're speaking out. And there's some emotional speeches as well. Let's just end with them. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> so it's hard. <laughs> there's so much happening. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you're feeling this. And I would give anything to be in a room with you and put my arm around you. Yeah. I would so much. I need you to understand how, how painful this is. I need you to understand how painful it is. Guys, guys, guys. To be reminded every day that your race means nothing. And that isn't the case anymore. That is never the case anymore. We are going to try today. We are a physical representation of our support for George Floyd. Bang on them. I bang on them. I think what folks that are writing All Lives Matter need to understand is that for some people for some people black lives don't matter at all. So for us black lives matter. 